What's up YouTube family? Welcome to Automotive Life. My name is Lucky and today's video we're going to be going over why Turo is slowly dying and I believe that higher car is going to pick up a lot more of its market share. Now we're going to go over the differences between what I'm seeing in a few people's markets and I definitely need you guys to help me with comments down below on if your market is slow, if it's picking up and I want to get you guys opinion on some of the ideas that I have and why I believe that higher car is going to get much busier in the upcoming months compared to Turo. Now before I get into the video, if you're going to be a huge favor and gently squeeze the like button for the YouTube algorithm and as you find more amazing people like yourselves that enjoy automotive content also please consider subscribing we do post three times a week so make sure you click the notification bell and once again follow us on Instagram automotive.life we post great stuff there all the time a lot more intimate content I'm way more popular on Instagram than I am here but you should definitely check that out and without any more shameless plugging let's get into the video now before I get into the video I just want to take a moment and say thank you guys so much the channel is just blowing up and I truly appreciate it um, we were featured on multiple youtubers channels uh, one of my favorites is Life of Paulo. So I'll put a link somewhere over here. Great guy. Uh, we love sharing automotive content. I'm so blessed to be on his channel and some of these other guys. we got some really great YouTubers content coming up here very soon. Um, I'm meeting with a few other ones to do some interviews. It's going to be really great stuff. Also, we're going to be doing a new car reveal. I picked up a car over the weekend, so that's why I wasn't able to film on Monday. We had some crazy stuff going down, but I'll, I'll fill you guys in that one. And the winner of the gift card is Tony Montana. Congratulations. Make sure you email us at lucky at automotive.life. Um, just make sure you show some sort of proof that you are you. And we'll go ahead and we'll send you out that gift card. Uh, once again, um, we're going to do another $100 gift card. All you got to do is just put a comment section below. It could be anything. Ask me a question. Even put a funny joke. I don't care. The more interaction we get from you guys, the more the channel is growing. And I truly appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. And let's get into the video. So we're going to go ahead and talk about why I believe that Turo is dying and higher car is going to pick up a big market share of their business. Now, before you guys get triggered and blow up and be like, Turo's not dying, I'm busy and everything else, there are exceptions to the rule. I talk to different people from across the United States and Canada. I talk to many people, I look at statistics, I look at numbers, and all I do is I bundle it all up together to give the information to you guys. So if you are in a place like Vegas, Miami, LA, you're always going to have business because you're in a travel, I guess, friendly city or, or, or tourist-based city. So there's always people that are going to want to spend a few dollars more than other places. So a lot of the stuff we're going to be talking about may not affect you, but I would still love to hear about what your uh, market is doing in the comment section below if you've noticed it's slowing if you're busier what kind of cars do you have because part of this is like I said sharing knowledge so we can help each other and grow a community if you haven't already please join our Facebook group the link is in the description below um, this is the exact same purpose you know if you're a Turo guy in Minnesota you can reach out and be like hey I'm in Minnesota I do Turo I rent out whatever whatever and you can meet some of the other people that you in your area that you can work with and maybe network with and stuff like that and bounce ideas off of and and that's the whole purpose of this video. So the reason why I believe this is, is there's several factors that we come into it. As of right now, we're going to talk about the state of the economy. So we always made jokes about stimulus ballers and they're the ones that pushed up the uh, inflated prices on Turo, hire car and everything else because of the extra money they had. Because to them to go on a trip, they weren't working, they had nothing to do, they had four or $5,000 in their pocket. They could afford it, it was no big deal. Well, now that money's gone, we're starting to see a dip in a lot of people's numbers. And we talked about this probably about two months ago. A lot of my students and, and clients were slowly seeing their exotic and, and Highline cars go down. And now we're talking about the, you know, the high-end luxury cars, you know, S-classes, G-Wagons, Range Rover, stuff like that. Those are starting to go down. The last one to be hit is the economy cars, which we're probably gonna see in the months of November, December, and January. Now, when people, when we get into the holiday season, there is gonna be travel, but people are always gonna need economy cars because at the end of the day, if they could save more money, go to the trip and buy more presents, they're gonna do that. Nobody's gonna show up to their small town and rent a Ferrari just to flex in front of everybody else. Now, there may be some people that will, but in the scheme of things, that's not really how it's gonna happen. So you're gonna notice that a lot more people are not gonna be as flashy on their trips as they used to be, and they're gonna go bare bones and they're just gonna get regular economy cars. Now, what's gonna happen is, is there's a lot of people out there right now that are on the platform that are so used to getting a hundred dollars a day for like a Nissan Sentra or a, a, a Toyota Tacoma or not Tacoma, Tacoma Camry and so everybody has this big false sense of what it's supposed to be like now the prices I believe are gonna go back to what it was in 2019 in 2019 if you had a Camry Sonata Ford Fusion you were getting 45 to 50 dollars if you were lucky and that's usually the range it's at so as the economy starts to slow down Turo is going to match that with the demand in lower prices. 
Now, the good news is, is as the money starts to go down, a lot of the people that saw it as easy money, they're slowly gonna leave the platform because it's not, they don't wanna work and stress themselves out for 45 bucks a day. So they'll just be like, well, I'm not getting $100 a day, I just wanna get rid of it. So they'll get to leave the platform, which will leave more space for you. Now the downfall is, is just like it happened, I don't know if you guys remember when, uh, I think it was the winter of 2018, um, there was a big problem because people weren't renting as much as what they were. The economy was kind of like in a little bit of a dip. And so what they did is people were desperate, so they started lowering the prices of their cars. So you have you, the business owner, that wants to make, let's say, 50 bucks a day on his Toyota Camry. And then you have the guy that doesn't want to go back to work, that just wants to make enough money to make his car payment. He puts it at $30 a day. Now, you need $50 a day to make a profit and to pay your bills. He's putting it at 30 Everyone's gonna rent his $30 a day one, and then eventually Turo's gonna tell you, hey, you know what, you need to lower yours down to 30, or we're not gonna rent your car. So now you're competing with a bunch of people that just don't care, they don't wanna make money, they're desperate, and they just wanna put their, their cars up there. And as this starts to happen, you're gonna see the prices on Turo trickle down like they always do. So I'm telling a lot of people, if your plan is based off of only making enough money with the prices right now, you're probably gonna be in a world of hurt because a lot of the stuff's gonna go back. I believe in around February, we should be back to 2019 prices because the whole, you know, the stimulus is gonna run out. A lot of the people that are expecting those massive, massive tax returns is not gonna get it. I think there was less than 40% of people that actually clicked the button to take the taxes out of the stimulus money. So everybody that's receiving stimulus, if you didn't click that button, be surprised. You're gonna get a bill from Uncle Sam. And then also, the people that are getting $200 a kid from the IRS, you're probably gonna get that taken out of your taxes too. So when you're thinking, hey, I got four kids, I'm gonna have this seven, $8,000 tax return in February, I'm gonna take my wife out and travel and go ball out, probably not gonna happen. They're wind up gonna, you're gonna just break even, or if not, you're gonna owe the government money after the stimulus and this government payout. So it's not gonna be what everybody thinks it is. So as that market starts to dip, it's just gonna kind of flatten out. And I believe that we're gonna hit those prices of 2019 like it was. Now. It's not a good thing and it's not a bad thing. It's good because we need to make the market adjust for people like us that want to do it as a business because we need that structured business. When, when it's quick money and easy money, all the clowns come in. And that's the problem that we're having right now is every idiot that has a car says, I want to get on Turo and they throw their car on Turo and then they screw it up. They, they burn customers, they make, get bad reviews, they make us look bad. And then also they don't understand business. So the, to them, they're like, well, I bought this car for 10 grand, I own it, and, and if I rent out for $30 a day, hey, I'm making 30 bucks a day and I don't have to do nothing. So they're just thinking that. They're not thinking of depreciation, miles, beating up their car. They're not business-minded people. So you, on the other hand, that's trying to build a business, build profitability, and grow, can't scale to model because these idiots are driving the price down. And that's what we're gonna slowly start seeing. Now, the reason why I believe that Turo is gonna fail, or not fail, excuse me, but, but die down a little bit, and higher car is gonna pick up its market share, is because of what's gonna go on with the uh, great resignation. Now, I'm sure you guys know that there's a lot of people out there that are really scared about the great resignation. It's all over every uh, news channel. If you don't know what it is, just Google it, you'll see. A lot of these people are not going back to their typical jobs. They've had a taste of freedom. They were able to work from home. They got to visit their family. So I believe that a lot of people are gonna to go to hire a car to do different types of jobs, whether it's Uber, Uber Eats, Postmates, uh, Amazon, Lyft, um, any of those ones like that, I believe is gonna grow much, much more. Now, I just got my rental car license and I'm going out this week and I'm probably gonna buy about 20 cars, just cheap economy cars, nothing fancy, just beaters and put them up there for his maybe 150, 200 bucks a week and just give them for basic delivery vehicles. Because right now I'm seeing more and more people are gonna wanna go back to work, but they don't wanna go back to traditional sense. So if I can give them a car for $200 a week, they can drive it around, do their Postmates, Uber Eats, or deliver whatever packages they gotta do, and they can make a couple hundred dollars a week, they kick it back to me, everything works out, it's a good balancing act, and I think that it's gonna pick up much, much more. I've seen a lot more people get into Turo, um, excuse me, Uber, I've seen a lot more people get into Lyft. Um, we're also gonna be doing minivans, because once you do minivans, you're able to bump it up to Uber XL and Lyft XL, so you'll be able to get more money. There are programs with major rental car companies where they charge anywhere from 475 to 675 a week for minivans. We're pricing ours between 375, uh, 275 and 375 for a minivan, so this way we give them the same option, just a little bit 
older vehicle, but they can make that extra money. So this way they can, you know, pretty much grow their own business. So I think more and more people are going to go to that type of platform where they actually want to just work from home. You know, if they do 10 deliveries that day and they make two, three hundred dollars, they can stay home for the next two days. And when they're ready to go back to work, they go back to work, they make a few bucks, they take another day off. And so I think people, that lifestyle has changed the economy and changed the way Americans do business. And I think the only way to take advantage of that is with hire car, not really with Turo, because Turo I feel is 90% based off of tourism. Where hire car, I feel it's more based off of people that want to use the platform to make money, to do business, and stuff like that. So my advice to you is definitely try out hire car. I know people are like, oh, well, they don't the, the fees and they don't pay as well, and blah blah blah. Weekly rentals are less headache. Um, and then especially if you can sell a $40,000 car and get four $10,000 cars and put them on the streets and just let people make money with them, your returns will be much, much more, you know? And then like a lot of these cars, you know, we're getting for like two, $3,000. So if we're getting, uh, you know, a, a five, $600 a month, uh, dividend off of that or return, it's easy money. It's just a snowball that slowly picks up speed. So uh, that's what I believe that what's going to happen because there's a lot of people out there that sold their cars during the pandemic. There's a lot of people that basically didn't even need a car. So they just got rid of it, you know, and then now the car prices are so high. People don't even want to buy anything. So it's getting a little bit different. So I think that that's, what's going to push the, uh, the higher car market up and up. So, but definitely share with me in the comment section below what you feel like your market is. If you see it slowing down, if it's going up, if you're an Uber or Lyft driver, I'd love to know if you're on one of the programs if you could share with some of the people like what you're paying what kind of car you drive everything else like that and then also um, you know any type of advice that you guys have for other viewers of the channel please put it in the comment section below I always tell people I know a lot of stuff but I don't know everything and it's always great to share information because that's pretty much how we want to build our community so this way we can all grow and network together but anyways um, if you've learned anything in this video please gently squeeze the like button for the YouTube algorithm like I said I also find more reason people like you guys Make sure you subscribe, check out our Instagram, automotive.life. And I want to thank you guys so much for all the support and we'll see you guys next video.